Senator Corker, did it change your mind? Uh, no, it didn't. I've been, you know, really involved in the, in the details of what's been put forth. Um, I actually had a different view of the speech, um, and the speech, again, was just an episode. We do have some tough work here to get done, and I agree that there are issues regarding pre-existing conditions, the ability of people uh, to be able to buy affordable health insurance, tax code changes, cross-state competition. There's so much that I think overlap both Democrat and Republican uh, concepts that I think we could move those ahead, and I hope we'll focus on that. But I thought the speech actually was more like a sort of a primary speech in Iowa to sort of bring his base together. I did email over this morning to the chief of staff and to the person handling the health care policy for the White House to, to, to ask for the details because I actually left there last night with more questions than answers. There were a lot of platitudes. Um, the details of health care are very, very important, and uh, the American public is very tuned into this. And again, I just thought there were details that were missing. That doesn't mean we can't get there. I felt also last night, Judy, that in some ways the train was leaving the station. I felt like hopefully this is not the case, but the stage was being set for a more partisan piece of legislation than the way we've been working together in the past. Right. Senator Corker, what about uh, those, those statements the president made uh, that appeared to be a gesture to Republicans, to, saying he was willing to consider a look at malpractice reform, limiting malpractice claims. He talked about Senator McCain's idea of the high-risk right. pools, and he said that he's willing to consider alternatives to the public option. Well, look, I, I, uh, uh, I know the White House knows uh, we've had numerous conversations that all of those issues we've been talking about are things that I'd like to solve. I'm obviously not supportive of a government option. Uh, I know we're spending a lot of time on the speech, and I think it's timely that we are because it occurred last night. Uh, but I actually sort of want to move on, and I want to look at the details of what he talked about. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the devil is in the details, and some of the financing schemes, uh, Judy, and I say that, I mean, these are things that Republicans and Democrats have been looking at on the Finance Committee. But they're just not sustainable, things like uh, using 10 years' worth of revenues and 7 years' worth of cost. Uh, that just doesn't add up. Uh, looking at things like taking $410 billion in Medicare savings away from Medicare and moving it into another program, uh, when Medicare itself is insolvent through the year 2017. So what I'd like to say is, look, it was a speech. Uh, I think he probably accomplished what he wanted to accomplish. I want us to solve this problem, and I think Amy Klobuchar and us uh, and myself agree on many, many things. So I'd like to, to move down the, the road and see the text, to, to see the actual concepts that accomplish those things that he laid out last night. And I've asked for that from the White House today. I hope to get it very, very soon. I hope that uh, there are things that are very tangible that we'll be talking about uh, in our next meeting. Well, let me 